In obtaining a representative grab sample for a manganese test, plan ahead and run the tap for the prescribed time of five minutes. Running the water is done so standing water clears the plumbing. After the water has flushed for the five minutes, rinse the sample container three times to remove contamination from previous samples. Slow the flow of water from the tap, collect the sample, and move to the testing area. In this illustration, a treated water sample beaker is used. Some methods indicate sample collection in acid-washed plastic bottles. Check specifics against your operations program. While water is flushed through the sample tap, the operator prepared the materials she needed for the test. The operator removes the lids from the sample cells. Ultra-pure water is used to rinse the sample cells. The lids of the sample cells are also rinsed with ultra-pure water. The operator then uses 10 milliliters of deionized water to make the blank for the test. 10 milliliters of the sample are placed in the second sample cell. A clean lab wipe is used to clean off the sample cell bottles. The operator then takes and places one powder pillow of the prescribed acid into the first vial and gently stirs to combine the powder and liquid. The operator then repeats the process by placing another powder pillow of the prescribed acid into the second cell. The next method prescribed solution is added to both sample cells for manufacturer instructions. The prescribed amount of pan indicator solution is then added. And the sample cell is gently swirled or inverted as per the method being used. The timer is set on the colorimeter for a two-minute reaction to begin. The colorimeter is zeroed using the blank. The blank is then removed and the sample is inserted in the colorimeter per the manufacturer's instructions and tested. The results are recorded in the appropriate log document.